Hi, my name's Claire. I'm just sharing some uh, more of my experiences that I'm hoping will help others as I've navigated a breast cancer diagnosis. Um, so I want to talk today about the fact that you have a choice. Um, I think helplessness is a word that's often associated with cancer and I can honestly say I have not once felt helpless. I've, if anything, I've felt empowered. But the reason I haven't felt helpless is because I have um, created my own path through cancer, coming hopefully from a place of truth um, and balance. And I've been proactive, very, very proactive. So that's what I would suggest is a helpful tool um, if you are in a similar position or embarking on a similar journey. Um, be, you know, there's inspired action you can take that will really help. Um, so the first thing I did, which I'm really pleased about, is when I went for my triple test, I knew that my, uh, my ultrasound technician had seen something sinister. And I left there feeling like I'd already been told I had cancer because I, I did ask a few times. And of course, she couldn't tell me, but she did say she was worried. And she's an expert, right? So... So I left and straight away my mouth had dried up. I had the sympathetic nervous system response. So my body was in this sort of shock state, even though I hadn't been told formally. And for three days, my mind was um, jumping around. My ego was jumping around in fear of, of what might that, might that mean. And am I going to get a boyfriend again? Because my boobs going to go. And oh, my, how am I going to tell my children? And, you know, all these kinds of... Um, worries and then after three days I pulled it back it's like Claire you're not being present you don't even know you've definitely got it yet if you if you have got it it could be very early stages so then I put my energy instead of into worrying about my future and what it might mean for me I put my energy into uh, researching what I can do to uh, overcome what might what might be to come and I look for positive uh information out there and there's not that much a lot of it's very negative so but i went on to the more natural sites um believing at that point that whatever i had i wouldn't have chemotherapy and i would do it deal with anything naturally so for, for, so for those next 10 days or 11 days i started detoxing straight away um and i also planned how I would, uh, what I would do when I went to get my results. So I, I wrote a list of questions that I wanted to ask. Um, so I, I, I spent the time preparing for what might come, what might be to come, even though by the time I went for my results, I was fully hoping and believing that I didn't have it. Um, I was kind of, I convinced myself that the ultrasound technician, you know, didn't mean anything. Um, but, but, but deep down, I must have known, I was fully prepared. I had been detoxing for 11 days by then. I took my list of questions. I did a meditation the morning of going to get my results. I did a yoga practice, sat in meditation at the end, connected and, and simply asked the question, what do you want me to know today? And the response was, I am with you. And yeah, that was really reassuring and really peaceful. But it was also, you know, it wasn't you, you haven't got cancer. It was I am with you, um, which is very interesting. So so when I went and it transpired that, yes, I did have cancer, um, I was really pleased that I'd been able to spend that time focusing on preparing myself and being positive. So I'd already really had the shock after the ultrasounds um, and that meant I was in a much more balanced state of mind when I did get the diagnosis, which meant then I could stay calm and I could ask the questions I wanted to ask. And I left feeling that like I'd got all the information I needed. I recorded it. My friend was there and took notes. Um, so I will share the questions that I asked um, because I'd say that's one of the things you can do to help yourself when you're in the early stages is to uh, is to think about are you spending your energy on um, productive things that will help you trans uh, help you prepare for whatever's to come or are you spending your energy on worrying fear that will instigate a stress response that will instigate an inflammatory response that will create an unhealthy imbalance in your hormones that isn't conducive to healing and of course we're all going to have a period of time where we're going to have that happen it, you know we're all human 
but as soon as you can switch from that mode to one of okay what can I do now to help myself then you're in a place of empowerment and a place a state where healing can begin to take place can even begin to take place yeah so that's what I would advise anybody who's in the very early stages uh, is to pull back as soon as you can uh, that's conscious again it's becoming present 